Here on your screen, you can see on the left, that is the space station's robotic arm that NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic is going to be controlling. He's going to push that into Cygnus and grapple onto it. NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps is assisting him, serving as his second set of eyes. You'll also hear her call down to the crew in mission control. The astronauts do have the go from ground teams here on Earth to proceed with capture. Houston Station has faced around two. We've, uh, we're in step four decimal two, and we're waiting to um, capture for lighting conditions. Houston copies. The crew is standing by for better lighting conditions. We did just recently exit that orbital nighttime and are into that orbital in, and are into that orbital daytime right now. This is a live view of Cygnus and the robotic arm on the left. The robotic arm has not started to move yet. Again, the crew is waiting for better lighting conditions. At the end of the robotic arm is the lee, that's the latching end effector, the hand of the arm. There are latches and snares that are going to grab onto the target. NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic is going to maneuver that arm so that it can grab onto the sensation on two. We're ready with the lighting and um, we can complete step four decimal two on your go. Houston copies, go for it.
NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps on board the space station confirmed that they are good to proceed with capture. However, the robotic arm is not currently moving yet. You are seeing live views of that capture on your screen right now. And we have confirmed movement. The crew is pushing in the robotic arm to Cygnus. We do have a camera at the end of that Lee or the latching end effector. You are seeing live views now as NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic pushes in the robotic arm to Cygnus. The circle towards the bottom is actually the grapple target. Dominic is going to be aiming for that horizontal bar just above it. The fixtures on the robotic arm are going to engage with that circular pinwheel shape that is directly below the horizontal bar. Two meters away. One meter. Two eleven a.m. Central Time, three eleven a.m. Eastern Time. While the space station flew over the South Atlantic Ocean, Northrop Grumman's twenty-first commercial resupply service mission was successfully captured at the hands of NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic. The Cygnus cargo spacecraft, as you see on your screen, is now securely attached to the space station's robotic arm. Next up is going to be the installation of the Cygnus spacecraft. That is actually going to be done by the ground team here in Mission Control Houston. For now, NASA astronauts Matthew Dominic and Jeanette Epps are relieved from their duties, will go on to their tasks for the day. We are going to take a brief break on our coverage and we will be back for that installation.
Houston Station on two. The capture Cygnus capture is complete. We go for Cygnus post capture reconfiguration. You know the space station brings a lot of visiting vehicles aboard, and we make it uh, we make it seem regular. But there's nothing regular about making one space station connect to another. It's incredible every single time. Welcome aboard the space station, Dick Scobie. Houston copies all and concurs. This has been uh, an incredible effort from both our Northrop Grumman and NASA teams and all the way from mission planning and preparation leading up to launch and especially over the past 48 hours of mission execution. Outstanding work today to you all and congrats on successfully capturing the 21st Cygnus and 50th visiting vehicle to the International Space Station. Why don't you all go celebrate with some ice cream? Did you say 50th? It's incredible. Uh, what an incredible group of teams from around the planet make this happen every single time. Thank you, guys. You heard wonderful congratulatory remarks. Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft supporting the 21st, Northrop Grumman's 21st commercial resupply service mission to the International Space Station has been successfully grappled at the hands of NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic with NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps serving as his backup. 2.11 a.m. Central Time, 3.11 a.m. Eastern Time is our official time of capture.